Mm-hmm. Do you think anyone's ever done anything called a dog cast? Probably. Yeah. dogs. People are creative. Yeah. Yeah. Probably dogs. is dogs just barking. Normally. Yeah. They're like, dog this is entertainment. I'm going to do a whole podcast of me and my dog. Hey, Gilligan. You're just doing the Gilligan's voice. Hi. Hey, hey, good to see you, Dad. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, How you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm on a podcast. I should feel famous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. cool. You should film that, too, just so it looks insane. <laughs> it's just you doing both voices. <laughs> <What is> he- <laughs> <laughs> My eyes, like, gloss over and stare in the space. <laughs> just every time Gilligan's talking, you're looking at yourself in a mirror. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name's Joe Beretta. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm El- Elliot Morgan. Oh boy, are you all right? <laughs> you were doing a Steve. I was doing Steve. I'm, a Steve, yeah, I'm Steve, Steve Zaragoza. Steve. Elliot, that nah, I threw feel up. left out. <sighs> Anyways, this is Table Talk, and you guys knew that. You submit uh, suggestions via hashtag Table Talk on Twitter or at our subreddit, r slash SourceFed, over on the Reddit. So let's just jump right in. Can we, please? Go for it. Yeah. Bring All it right. On. Bring well, it on. Well, I was just looking at, uh, at that lovely lady that's watching right now who's oh. looking at us on her computer screen, and I just hey, wanted to hello. say hi. How and, are you uh, doing today? I don't know if you're all right. Mm-hmm. I'll one up their highs. How you doing? Make sure you're doing all right with a. You look very nice today. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, how you about this? You have a very pretty family. I love mm-hmm. that lip gloss you have. <laughs> yeah, I like the that. The beautiful. Too. Mm-hmm. I'll and bet it smells like cherries. I appreciate how your lip gloss matches your eyeliner, mm-hmm. which is. Black. I would like to sit you down at a very nice dinner and talk about your emotions. Do you like YouTube? Do you like do you like your do you like yourself? Okay. <laughs> Sedna three eight eight says, "Where do you think all the bees are going?" <laughs> what? <laughs> are the bees leaving? Uh, they're all dying. Well, you know the tragedy of our subreddit, and this this is the microcosm of the tragedy of our subreddit. That only has one point. Nobody. I know. That to, like, Why didn't anybody top. vote that up? Big yeah. time. Where are all the bees going? Well, I think they're going on vacation. I mean, They've been working hard <laughs> yeah. for a very long time. You've come to the right place for this question. First of all, <laughs> wait, aren't the bees just going to where all the cowboys have gone? Uh, we haven't figured out where that is yet. I know that's where they're going. The yeah. same place. They, it's the same place Gandalf goes. Where at the end have of all the bees gone? gone. Do, 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 do. You know, you know that yeah. part. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> I want to um, keep going. I that song's great. I don't know where the Wherever music they're are. going, they should stay there. Cause who likes bees? Let's yeah. be like you, know, you both know they're all dying, right? Like, are they actually that's dying? That's the point of the question. Like, yeah. Bees are like, dying. The honey bee, the honey bees are are dying. Dude, I'm out, so around the world. I'm so behind on my bee news. Like I know, ridiculous. right? Me too. Bee Weekly hasn't come in the mail. Me, me neither. I'm wondering weeks. if it's like so. I'm gonna lace subscribe. jokes with a little bit of uh, information while they're doing. No, you Welcome to source. Actually, my thing is so. So I usually they're dying. Maybe I didn't pay for the month. Okay. Do you think I didn't? The fear is that if the honey bees die out, our food supply around the world. Check the box on your original subscription. Uh, the honey is in so much it's stuff. You know, and, uh, when I put them back in the mailbox, uh, I usually do, but I just figured they know because like they have it on file uh, as of. It's a, a big you, deal. Ever since B Weekly got bought out it's by a, Time, yeah. it's become kind of this more like. We're here for There's definitely more ads, that's yeah. for sure. Okay. <laughs> Wait, really? What's happening to the bees? They're dying. No, I, I, seriously, bees we, are dying. We missed it for the sake of the. Be- oh, yeah. that sucks. We're moving on. Wait, uh, wait, wait. No, I don't want to move on. I want to talk about it. Can I already it? did. I will say the bees. I, I'm going to give one thought on bees, and it's literally the only thought I have on bees in the entire world. Okay, I do not like bees, but I'll be darned if they are not one of the cutest insects. Ever. I think bumblebees are cuter. Bumblebees are you cute. Think well, that's I mean, I mean bumblebees. Yeah, yeah. bumblebees yeah. are cuter than honeybees. As, as cute as a bug can get. Like butterflies, they're yeah. pretty for yeah. a bug. Yeah. Caterpillars can be cute, but they're a little freaky. Yeah, they are a little freaky. Bumblebees cute because they're all fat. And yeah, they're, they're like, just like, like, you're like, how can you hurt like, me? Mm, but I don't no. like them. I'm just I'll saying. give you that. I'll give you that. Aesthetically, yeah. they're very nice. They're dying. Um, nobody knows why. Nobody knows why. Some kind of think it's pesticides or whatever. They're not sure that it could be a, a genetic thing within their system, uh, a virus. They don't know. I think they're getting closer. But the fear is, like I've said before, sorry guys, uh, is that if they die out, our food supply crumbles. Like around the oh, world. really? Yeah. But it's probably over the course of like a hundred years or uh, something. Be, right? I, I think it'd be pretty quick because they pollinate, they spread seeds, and their honey uh, honey is a big deal. So as well. the solution is we just need to create robot bees. Sure. We'll do the same thing bees do. Yeah. Buy bees, and then the robot bees won't have stingers, and then I won't be afraid about them getting into my Pepsi can while I'm camping with can my parents. Can we call them robies? I'd love to call them robies. Robobies? Robobies. What about bee bots? 
Bee oh, Bee Bots is probably superior. That's How? pretty good. Right? How is our entire food supply dependent on bees? Uh, How do we not think that through? Yeah. Pollination's a big deal, yeah. That's important? Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, have you guys ever move. seen <laughs> zoo bees? Have you ever been to the zoo bees are the worst of all bees. Do you guys They're know? the most aggressive. We're never moving on. Do you guys know what you call a bee <laughs> that produces milk? What do you call it? Boobies. Oh, man. It's so good. <laughs> Elliot, what the Ow! fuck are you doing on YouTube? Ow! What are you doing on Ow! YouTube? It's comedy. It's comedy. What is your special? Those are jumps. Seriously. Bring it. Bring it, dude. I feel it ready. What's your I HBO special coming? Dude, Tim, oh, man. It's going to be all beaking wrong. Why are they knocking down Ow! your door? Oh, man. Woo! You guys, get, get, get. It's hard. It's hard. You understand? I know. Right I know. Get your Elliot film. No, he's they, gone. They, you first. You got to get up off the floor from laughing so hard at that boobies joke. Has anybody there seen what a raising? Make sure like, it's all situated. There you go. Perfect. He's gone, man. I don't even. Uh, like, is he even here anymore? I can't see him. Where's Elliot? Oh hard. my god. It's hard. You're Ugh. so right. You're this, like roll through. Roll through. Oh. Another question. Another question. Can I read this one, Steve? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but bees from the Reddits. <laughs> Greendale Com College says, what is one strange fact you know about another source-fed host that we may not know? This sounds like a truth or dare question. This sounds it's like a, a good, it's a good question, question, though. What is, uh, wait, what is a fact that we know yeah, about? Yeah, something that maybe we haven't shared. We've shared a lot um, of stuff on... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll jump right in for uh, Mr. Beretta here. Uh, Joe Beretta once had a, uh, a pilot that he made, for which, for those who don't know, it's a, when t TV shows are made, they make a pilot first, and then the executives choose based on the pilot what series get ordered to series, or what shows get ordered to series. So, uh, Joe made an entire pilot for NBC, mm -hmm. went through that whole rigmarole, was up at the top with all the executives, freaking, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, Hobnobbing with Kevin Riley over at Fox and stuff. It was yeah. cool. Yeah, and that they and then they ended up stealing that idea and it became two girls, a guy, and a pizza place. Yep. <laughs> Didn't it? I love that show. Yeah. Uh, no, it was called This Is Cold Attack. I did it with uh, Luke Baratz. He's part of my Bratz and Bretta channel. You can check that out because a lot of the skits, it was a, uh, it was a sketch show, and a lot of them we put on our YouTube channel. Mel Mailman versus Milkman is probably my favorite. That's one a great one. Yeah, you should check that out. That's um, probably the, yeah, that's one of your. But yeah, we yeah. did everything. We wrote the pilot, we directed it, we acted in it, we edited it. And uh, the fact that it didn't get picked up is on our shoulders, 100%. <laughs> we were entirely 100% responsible for it. Yeah. No, it was really fun. I learned a lot doing it. It's the reason I'm in L.A. now. Um, it was it was something that we weren't really striving for. The NBA, NBA, the NBA got a hold of us. Uh, <laughs> Listen, we know your pilot didn't get picked Dude, it was up, but you're white boys. Would you like to play basketball? <laughs> it was this weird string of events. Luke and I were making sketches in college, then we released one called Mother's Day, and it blows up back That's when the, one. the YouTube front page was just one video, and the editors would pick one, and if you got on there, it was big, and our video got on there. And then a week after that, we got a call from a manager in L.A. He's like, hey, I'm in L.A. I want to manage you guys. And we're like, we're in Spokane, Washington. You're not going to do anything for us, but it won't hurt. Go ahead. And then a week after that, CAA, which is a talent agency in town, was like, we want to represent you too. And we're like, okay, we don't know what a CAA is, but we hear we should probably CAA just CAA is like the it. top agent. <laughs> like and like then top three. Uh, a week after that, this is no joke, we got an email from NBC that said, it was one line, that said, this is NBC, we want to do a pilot with you. That was it. And we're like, this is a joke. This, <laughs> who's spamming this on email? This is a joke, and we got to make the pilot. That's good. so NBC to have somebody yeah. like emailing. Exactly. Hey, uh, <laughs> this is NBC. Yeah. 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 There's someone at NBC that just sends out joke emails. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to make a pilot with you. God, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I got this NBC email, I've been having <laughs> yes, a ball. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Extend your penis email I'm sending out. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had a Sony Pictures email address that I like to mess around with sometimes. I thought, that's fun. Yeah. Hey, guys, hey guys, look at this. Look at what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on the Reddit. I'm going to ask him where all the bees went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Steve, what do we know about you that nobody knows? Or uh, just a weird fact? Uh, I don't know. What do you a know? Lot, about a lot of you know. A lot of people knows. have seen you on A Thousand Ways to Die. Yeah. So maybe that's not an unknown that. thing. Yeah. You were uh, you were part of a, like a Muppet show for a while. Yeah. Did well, know that? Talk it was about that. it was well. I worked for Puppet. Kids WB. Don't get sued. I know. I know. We're not talking. I mean, it'd be great if I worked with Muppets. That'd be fantastic. Um, it was puppets. And in fact, the guys that did the Crank Yankers puppets made these. And they That's were, cool. It was with Kids WB. It was all online. You could probably still find it somewhere. I don't know how to find it, though. But I just, uh, I was in the cartoon world with, like, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and Captain Caveman and uh, Jack Rabbit. I forgot the name of the rabbit. Oh, we wouldn't know. We didn't watch it. I know. Some, <laughs> but you know the Hanna-Barbera, the old yeah. Hanna-Barbera rabbit where he'd be like... 
Oh, they yeah, had one of those. Like, and they yeah, put yeah. drama McGraw and shit yeah. like that. I used to love that What's stuff. his name? Bugs Bunny? No, not no, Bugs Bunny. No, no, no. I mean, no, well... It was I mean, one of the less popular ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he talked kind of like this, and he has like a sheriff star. I feel yeah. like I know it. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. I don't know the name. Oh, Ricochet Rabbit. There Ricochet, okay. Ricochet Rabbit! And then he'd jump around. Anyway, but yeah, that was a dream come true. And uh, I don't know if... We well, you know, maybe I did tell this story. I was going to say one time I wasn't feeling too well on the set, and the puppeteers oh, yeah. were down by uh, my butt, and I farted, and... Uh, it was bad news. They never <laughs> invited him back. Worst. It was really bad. I felt bad. That's the only time where you really feel bad for puppeteers when they're down by. <laughs> no, I feel bad every time I see. Do you puppeteers. feel bad for puppeteers? Yeah, it's a lot of I hard work. I saw a picture man. today of uh, the Muppets, like, and it was heartbreaking because I don't think of the Muppets as like. But not only that, like uh, Bert and Ernie, uh, the, with the hands or whatever, yeah. like put both your hands up. The other one, so this one, it was like this. Oh, so this yeah. is Jim Henson. He's got his little mouth yeah. thing. You're doing the hand right here. Uh -huh. Oh, so this yeah. guy's like this. Oh, I know. This like is a, this is how yeah. yeah, this yeah, is yeah. how like it's labyrinth like and those movies yeah. are made. It's, yeah. Uh, it's like everyone's like <laughs> And then hold on, buddy. And this is oh, all just for on. David Bowie's cock piece. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, no, there was a lot of contortion and stuff, but it, but I mean genius. You you couldn't see any of that yeah. on camera. And it was part of how amazing Jim Henson was I literally, able to come up with these. I saw those photos this morning and I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Every like time you see so a Jim weird. Henson picture, you get sad. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. You really do. Because it's just lost potential. It's a, it's a, and it's you're, you got this nostalgic feeling that you wish you could reconnect to, and you can, and then you get happy, but then you realize the man that is the source of that happiness is not there anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he did so much good and was always trying to help people in world peace and all that kind of stuff, and I feel like there's no like creators out there really anymore that Taking are Taking like, that yeah, kind of right. chance. Yeah. He, he took a chance that became... It's own thing. It became an industry. Yeah. Nobody else was. Do it's amazing. Yeah. What he did was amazing. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since somebody's done something like that. Yeah. That's Where's like... the next Jim Henson? Yeah. Me? You want to make no. some puppets? I think it's that girl with the eyeshadow. It is. <laughs> Watching. And the lip gloss? Yeah. It smells yeah. like cherries. How's your family? Uh, oh, Elliot. I don't know about Elliot. Oh, uh, man. I don't know if I can come up with something. What are that dancing head? Nickelodeon kid? Yeah, people thing. have seen that. Seen, seen that? Seen yeah. Nickelodeon commercial. Were you in a Weezer video or Weezer's mm -hmm. stage show or something? I saw that on Reddit. Yeah. I know something that you've told me that you haven't told them yet. Elliot has sat down and had lunch with a member of Weezer because he wrote a member of Weezer and said, hey, will you have lunch with me? Wow, and he oh, said really? yes. Well, he offered, yeah, he offered. <laughs> it was like really weird. Like, he, uh, We went to a concert one time and uh, I was a big Weezer fan and then he was like, it was the bassist, uh, Scott Schreiner, and then he was like gonna give my wife uh, his pick and she never did. So I emailed him one time joking. I was like, hey, uh, you never did. I emailed him like on Facebook or whatever, like just being jokey and uh, friendly and being like, hey, love your stuff, whatever, blah, blah. And he was like, and then I, he emailed back, and he was like, oh, haha. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to move to L.A. in like two weeks or whatever. Uh, and he was like, oh, we should meet up and have uh, have coffee. So I, we get to L.A., and I was like, this isn't going to happen. And my wife was like, I'm, this is not going to happen. And I was like, yeah, all right, sure, probably won't. So I emailed him. He was like, yeah, let's do it. So he like we sat down at a Starbucks for like an hour and a half. And, Whoa. And, yeah, he like just was picked his totally brain. cool. Yeah. And he Wait, was, what was that like? What did you talk about? Weezer, a lot of weed. But then he also <laughs> was like, we were new in town, and I was like, hey, I'm moving out here to like, be an actor and like, you know, try to – make a living out here and somehow in the industry and he was like giving tips on like you know what to look out for what wow. did he just like let off the burden and the stress that probably comes with being a part of Weezer that a nobody little bit. knows about a he's little, like yeah. here's what I want to say about it, was, it there was literally a moment where he was like ask ask what you want to ask <laughs> and I was like right. Rivers is a dick it's true uh, he didn't <laughs> say that but yeah no he, uh, it, was, it was good times so it was really, really cool it was, was it like awkward at all though you know, did you feel it like... was definitely awkward uh, but it, well, I think now it's like it kind of like in, like impressed upon me is like you don't ever get to I mean he's the basis of Weezer he's not you know like the biggest thing ever but to have that mentality of like it's okay to like always meet the one person yeah. and like take that one person and take them seriously and value them is something that like I it's really yeah, cool. I just think with. that's awesome that he actually yeah. did that. Yeah. It's amazing. And he offered up. Yeah. It's like hey come over to my house we'll hang out I like, sleep in my bed. Well yeah. okay. <laughs> Uh, just do coffee. Just do coffee. Move it quickly. Yeah, bring All your right. wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. down for stuff. You like drinking? <laughs> uh, so, Skate Tricks, this is another SourceFed question, said, SourceFed, if SourceFed was animated, what would be everyone's signature look, example, clothes, hair, character, etc.? Oh, we I already dressed like a cartoon character, character pretty much. Yeah. There's been people who put I was going to say, like, people have already yeah. done it for us, yeah. and you just accentuate just like everything, like mm -hmm. the character or anything, or the things about you. So you're going to have probably a beanie, a big beard, yeah. and some glasses. Or some hat or something. Um, yeah. I will probably have a beard and 
that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like that was maybe yeah, hair, brown yeah. spiky like, hair. Yeah. They probably they probably would draw me with like a basketball or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like not how I live my life. Uh, Joe, that's actually is how Joe lives his life. He's I always walking always around with a basketball. basketball. Yeah, exactly. nope, never plays. Yeah. Just walking around. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, remember that one time he came to? Wasn't it your your wedding? Yeah, he had yeah. a basketball yeah. with him. Joe, so is that strange. the gift? No, yeah, absolutely not. This is my ball, dog. Yeah, this is my basketball. <laughs> my prop, bro. My prop. This is my brand. Yeah. Oh, you want to play a pickup game there? Nope. I always don't know how to play. I can tell what's funny about like the, the animated stuff though is I can tell when like I'm getting like lazy with how I dress or whatever because all of like the animated versions will come out with Have me the like same clothes. Yeah, I'll be wearing the same crap. Like I was wearing the same three jackets one time and like everybody was like, Hey Elliot, change clothes. They'll, they'll draw Elliot like shaggy, I imagine. They'll elongate yeah. him because comparatively uh-huh. to the rest of us, which because you're not really that guy, mm-hmm. but you're taller than the rest of us, you you're so you're lankier. So you're gonna have these really long yeah. arms. You're gonna come. You're gonna walk <laughs> like this. You're gonna be like I'm Slender Man. Like, I'm always over it. So I'm always you're like, always getting in a van and solving mysteries yeah. and ghosts and There's stuff. There's a dog. Yeah. yeah, it talks. There's drug references. But They're like, very yeah. subtle. With a speech impediment. There's like a sex cult. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss that episode? I always appreciated though when people draw me with plaid on. Because plaid's my yeah. thing. And that's not a fun thing to draw. No, it's not. It's not easy at all. <laughs> Steve uh, would be like, I got 10 shirts, and it looks like the exact same <laughs> shirt. That yeah. like. They always draw Lee in the dinosaur thing, too. Yep. Don't mm-hmm. they always do that? Yeah. Yep. yep. I think yeah, we I burned guess. Yuki a long time ago, though, unfortunately. Yeah. Yuki yeah. has passed. <laughs> uh, the Pope on uh, Twitter, it looks like. CGP690. Uh, the Pope <laughs> says, <laughs> it really does. I mean, but it, you're right, it is CGP690. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) Poor Joe. Uh He asked, would you prefer to have the ability to slow down time or speed it up? There's a table talk question. Yeah. Um, Okay, I'm I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to answer what my initial thought is right away. You just tell me if I'm wrong. Do it. It's slow down. Yep. I mean, you don't want to speed up because you're going to lose out on part of the existence and that experience. It's like that click movie. With Adam Sandler, yeah. he'd speed it up, and he'd, you know he'd skip parts of his life, but then he wouldn't remember and he'd forget him. Yeah, but that's the thing. And then you cry at like... the end because that movie's actually really emotional. It's really sweet. It's, it's a, a touching. Sweet movie. It's a good yeah. movie. Adam Sandler, it's like apple pie, is so good at bad humor. Not bad humor, just a blue humor with real emotion. Yeah. You may not like Adam Sandler, but he combines I'm those two things so well. I love Punch Drunk Love a lot. That's yeah. one of my favorites. I like Fifty First Dates. I know that, <coughs> that kind of like just went yeah, Everybody nowhere. has some, but uh, yes, yeah, it, it's slowed down and assuming that you can take advantage of those moments where you're slowing down time or like you know how you sit there and you're like, I never want this moment to end. You know what, though? You can well, make it never end. What but, I would counter with, though, yeah, is yeah. like, I I agree with what we're saying now in our time frame. I think it, it totally is dependent on where you are in life. I know that there were times in middle school and high school when I was like, God, what I would not yeah. give yeah. to just get, like, memories, be darned. I don't want to be I don't want to be here. This yeah. sucks. This is the yeah. worst experience ever. Or it's like so, jury duty. Like, I'm going to go to jury duty. I'm going to be there for six hours. Let's just that. speed this up. That's but I mean, true. like, m- I, I guess you're right, though, Joe. But like, if you only had one. If you only oh, well, had one. Better to be able to slow down life in general and experience the good things or maybe take advantage of a slowed down moment or get through the bad stuff real But quick. I mean, like, let's think about it this way. If you were literally slowing down time, mm-hmm. wouldn't everything going. just be super slow motion be weird. and kind of weird? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be weird if you're speeding it up. But I mean, like, do you want to experience something super slow guess, that isn't actually you, enjoying yeah, it? Yeah, would you rather You guys! In? Don't want to brag, but I had sex for 73 years <laughs> last night. <laughs> What was it like? <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> really yeah. long. Would you? I guess that's the question. Would you rather dull in a good moment or gloss maybe it over a bad moment? Maybe it doesn't dull in it. Maybe but if it, it did. I don't know. Well, this is a so bunch of what-ass. Rather... We're playing like the what-if uh-huh. game, lo- lobbing them back so and forth. So let's say if it's slowing down time, it literally just affects just what's immediately around you. We don't know. We're trying. <laughs> we're asking questions and trying to Yeah, now to we're getting hypothetical. We're getting like quantum physics. We're getting way quick. I mean, if, we're, if it's literally just... Type slowdown shit, then I don't want that. Yeah, that's boring. I agree. But if you can savor the moment for longer, then yeah. So but ba- like, we don't have enough information to answer no. this question. I'm married and don't care. <laughs> Ship it. Ship it. And that, that it. would be the moment <laughs> you slowed down. Yeah. This is it. Oh, wait. Am I next? I'm, I'm next. Yeah. Or maybe you have the speed up ability, and while I'm going slow for the kiss, you speed it I'm up just really like, fast. <laughs> this is. Oh, that's the worst. I've had him do that. Oh, that's the. Ow! <laughs> was that your tooth? <laughs> Ew! 
Damn. Did I punch you? You bit, you punched me with your face. I felt beard. <laughs> Someone put in slow motion. It might have been this. <laughs> oh. I don't like that bit anymore. <laughs> Gio Trinchera uh, at Facing Fear says, if you guys can make anything possible for a week and take it back, what would it be? Mine would be a zombie apocalypse. Oh, God. Wait a minute. This is. Why would you do that? You want. This person wants half the population of the earth to die. It doesn't matter. And then take it come back. back. So. Uh, oh, I guess that's. Man, true. what a if you can have great. That mitten. Wait, if you can have anything possible? You could, man, for a week and yeah. then take it back? And Let's see the apocalypse. I want to see the apocalypse. That's kind of cool. Let's see yeah. what the end of the world would be like. Or the uh, actual straight up apocalypse. Yeah, I want to see how humans would react to okay. that. Or uh, beginning of creation, which yeah. is kind of the opposite. That's okay. kind of cool. I like that. I like or like, that. let's see. Assuming there is a beginning. Oh, you, can have anything. you know what I want to see? <laughs> <laughs> Where have all the, the cowboys gone? gone. <laughs> Uh, I want to see this sun crash into the earth. Um, <laughs> you guys might find this Some weird, but I think like to what, that. Uh, <laughs> Let's see how that would work. Imagine experiencing like the great one of the great wars. It sounds horrible, but one of the things that like actually being with a, part a posh of it. life is that you don't get those massive character building like experiences that our our fathers and those generations had, which made them kind of like the one that we put up on a pedestal. Just to see what they went through, maybe it's yeah. it's a weird wow. answer, but I don't think it's. I mean, then you're basically saying I want to build my character so much so that I'm and willing to watch people die. It's not just a character building die. thing. It's uh, no understanding a situation more than just what a textbook. Says. I think yeah. you need long, longer than a week, though. Yeah, probably. Maybe you didn't. Maybe I don't you need know, five minutes. A week's minutes. pretty crazy, though. Yeah. Like a week. Can imagine imagine being a week in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Like you're there, I you're in the shit. I think what leads to it though, what leads to the, that character building is not knowing. There's that sense of inevitability. Yeah. Well, maybe you don't. Out. I don't know. Uh, how, how about this? I want to be an animal for a week. <laughs> like you, we could do cool. anything. Well, we could talk to. Yeah. yeah, we could talk to animals and sort. All, if but I wouldn't want to animals. take that oh, back. Yeah, you know what? I thought you're, you're right. You I want to be a dog. So much about, you wouldn't want to hear animals talk all the time. So a week <laughs> is a good amount of time. You talk to them, figure out all the problem. Like, what do you need us to do to make your lives better? What can we tell them? What they can do? Stop eating us. Just and a week later, you take it back, and we're in a better place. That's what I'm going with. Talking so, animals for a week. But if you take it back, can mm -hmm. you have the knowledge you have? I would assume. It back? I'm guessing. I that's mean, part otherwise, of the then you're just having a dream. Well, if that's true, then you could like create every hypothetical situation forever. Like that's a really cool superhero power, like a superpower. Yeah. yeah. Temporary. You, like, man. what if someone was like, I'd, "Dude, I know, like, you wouldn't have," or like, "What's the, what am I trying to say?" Someone's like. uh... I wouldn't have uh, left you hanging, bro. I really wouldn't have. And it's like, all right, thanks, man. But let's see what would happen if you... Oh, like that Christmas Carol yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It sounds right. like a Whose Line Is It Anyways, like, what would happen game. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. It's like you could check out the hypotheticals. Like, how would President Obama react to an alien invasion? Yeah. Let's see what that would be I'm like. Oh, I find alien invasion way more interesting than zombie apocalypse. Yeah. 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, how would, yeah, oh yeah. shit. Experience hell or heaven. Yeah, let's see what Probably. heaven's like. All right? Assuming those things exist. Oh, oh, I have oh, all the cowboys. Uh, we'll do one more real quick. Rapid oh, fire. One more? Do, let's it. do it. All right, let's do it. it. We're over. We can go. go. Okay. Our editor hates us. The nerdly, the worst weather you've ever experienced, like sandstorm or some crap. Maybe a sharknado. Um, I have a boring answer. Mine is just blizzards, massive blizzards where I got caught in the house. That's it. Oh, okay. really? I've never even experienced such a yep. thing. The worst is like a heat wave, I guess. <laughs> Seriously, I grew up in California, so I mean. Well, you, you experienced you paradise. It's not quite weather, but you did you feel the earthquake of '94? Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. I felt earthquake. The North Ridge earthquake. Yes, I did. Was and that now, frightening beyond in, all belief? In Ventura County in Oxnard, yeah, yeah, it was pretty terrifying. When you're a kid, <coughs> do you remember shaking? I remember laying on the ground, and they and it kept. There were a bunch of aftershocks too, and I remember just like the whole ground would Ooh, not stop, and no, I remember no. just thinking like, when is this gonna stop? That thing like, destroyed. It's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably um, super scary. Yeah. Mine would be uh, hurricanes. We I, uh, there was one year in Florida when it was like there was like four hurricanes. One of them like looped two, maybe two of them looped back. You know, it was like one one looped back. It was like crazy, and it, it was right over my county that I lived in, and it was like, Poof, and the next day, Poof, and the next <laughs> just day, Poof, and it was crazy. Uh, fun because we got like two weeks off of school or something, but really scary. Could at some you not point. leave the house and? and stuff no, like you that? didn't. Have you never heard of him talk about his like what do you call them board ins or whatever? We had to board in. They the, weren't scary. The they love the, yeah. these high school kids Wait, love what? hurricanes. You actually, had to board your windows I mean, with like wood. Yeah, yeah, you board because the the wind will come by so hard and it'll pick stuff up. There's like tornado. Really and everything. So him and all his like high school friends, they board up the house and they just have boarding parties. What'd you call them? Oh, we didn't call them boarding parties, but that's a great name if anybody's going through hurricanes What'd you right call now. Him? 
we just call them um, off not school. being at school. I yeah. Think. So <laughs> they we, just sit there oh, and have fun. The fun thing would be at like we go into pools. Like if there's no lightning around, it was just wind and rain. We'd go jump in the pool and hang out in the pool because that's a lot of fun. You're in the pool and it's like raining and stuff. That's really cool because it's like oh, damn, it's I want to do that. It was that really fun. Awesome. But that was because yeah. it's like water everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. So if we've learned anything, hurricanes are the most fun natural disaster. <laughs> uh, take it out, Steve. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching Table Talk. And if you want to join in and add some stuff into the Big Blue Bowl, you can do that on Twitter using the hashtag Table Talk, or you can go to Reddit, r slash SourceFed, and you can add your stuff there. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Joe Beretta. I'm L.A. Morgan. Hey, have a wonderful day. And we mean that. It's not, a, it's, not, it's not so much an order as it is like a... We hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah. I should have said I hope you have yeah, a wonderful don't. day. Guys, I'm sorry. It's okay. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. No, you can do it again. No, Are you sure? For one take. You gotta find yourself, Winnie. Yeah. Find yourself. I've You're been searching for you so long. Are, oh, get centered. Okay. Breathe into your breathe out of your stomach. I'm not balanced. Why don't you get your hands off the table and see if that helps? You know we need we need positive ores. Send the positive okay. send our positive. Let's do that. Story. Here you go. Where have all the cowboys gone?